Hey guys, uh, this video is, um, I created this video in light of the spoilers. And I'm going to go over a couple spoilers from my mind cat and kind of just go over a quick deck tech, potential deck tech. And I, I foresee this, um, I'm typically an aggro player. I play better as an aggro player, not control. So when I see cards that I'm seeing printed, it gets me excited. Um, so obviously the first card I'm going to go over for uh, a mono red deck is going to be this card. Uh, this card is insane. Um, it's basically, it's not as good in modern, but it's definitely better in standard. And uh, I think one of the reasons why it, it doesn't have haste like Swift Spear does, um, but I think the biggest thing is that it has, let's say you have a Let's say you have Swiss Spear, but later in the game, if you don't have a card that gives it Trample or buffs it, um, it becomes kind of a dead card on board. And that can happen a lot with red deck wins or uh, multiple decks like that. The reason why Sw Swiss Spear did so good was that it had Become Immense, which was a plus six, plus six, and Trample um, card that could be casted for one green if you delved it. Um, and that was insane. That made Swiss Spear super powerful. Um, because for two mana, you could swing in for nine damage, and that was insane. Um, but with this card, it turns your burn spells into amazing creature removal, and um, it also slows your opponent down if they're you know, somehow getting ahead of you, you had a slower start. Um, it allows you to slow them down to a point where they can't even attack uh, successfully. So this card is really good for standard. I think it's better than Swiss Spear was. Um, Swiss Spirit did so well in standard because it had good supporting cards, but I think this card has the right supporting cards right now to be good. Let's move on to the next spoiler here. Um, the next one is Magma Spray. Great card. Uh, just basically another one mana removal spell that takes care of any graveyard crap that's going on. Um, so I always appreciate a card like this card. All right, let's move on. Throne of the God Pharaoh. I don't see this being... Um, Oh, you can see this comment right here. This guy is going to say exactly what I'm going to say. I think this is a good card for tokens. I don't know if it's good for red deck wins. I think it's good if you play a one drop and then you throw it on this card and then turn two and you swing at that one drop and you're effectively uh, giving it a plus one, plus one in a way. Um, uh, yeah, there isn't... This card... The thing is, it's legendary. If it could stack, I could see this card being, like, build around me. The thing is, it's legendary. And so if you draw another one, it's a dead card in your hand, and that can be not good. And so maybe like a one-of in a deck, like just as a weird one-of, that can be a weird win condition for you sometimes. That can get that extra that extra loss of life. Um, but that's about it for me. I don't think it's that great, but it's, it's potential. This card, I don't think it's that great. Um, it is a mono-red card. It's built for mono-red. So damage can't be prevented. There's a couple cards that do that right now in standard, prevent all damage. Um, and if a source you control will deal damage this turn, it deals double. So what's crazy about this is it doubles all your burn spells, um, which is really, really good. And then you can also cast the second half, and that's awesome. Uh, deals two damage, the second half aftermath, deals two damage target creature and two damage target player. For three mana, that's great. And I think the first half is good enough to drop on turn three, and then and then you can keep that burn spell in your graveyard till way later in the game to finish off your opponent. Um, so this could see a, a two of maybe in a deck, a, a go wide deck that would just give all your guys essentially double strike. Um, the thing is, it doesn't actually give you that double strike damage; it just gives you double damage. So you're not you're not going to be able to trade up on your opponent because you you don't have any first strike damage. So this card is pretty good, but. Um, we'll see how well it does in testing. So this card, I think, is playable in a mono red deck. Four damage target creature for two mana. It's not an instant. Um, I think, I think it's playable. Uh, the fact that it just hits hits a creature for four, I, I could see this in a sideboard to take care of Avison, to take care of Gear Hulks that are four toughness. Um, you don't even need to worry about the the aftermath half. I think it's just good enough a four damage burn spell for two. Um, this could see as a one of in a sideboard or something like that. Uh, this card just it's basically hammer hand with a cartosh uh, tribal whatever uh, card type added to it. So um, 
yeah, it's ba- Hammerhand was always good in a go wide deck. It could stop that life linker from blocking, and then you just get that final damage in and win the game. Pretty good. This card is makes this card's insane. Um, this card is ridiculous. I I don't even know why they printed something like this. This is basically a brute force, which was an instant, but it's an enchantment. And the thing is, it gives you plus three plus three, but that negative one negative one. It, over the course of this enchantment, it gives your creature a total of plus six, plus six. So the first turn you play it, it's a plus three, plus three. The second turn you play it, it's a plus two, plus two. And the third turn it's out, it's a plus one, plus one. And the fourth turn it negates itself. And what's great about this is with that one drop um, with Sol- Soulscar Mage, it actually becomes a six, six, um, three. Oh no, I'm sorry, a five, six on turn two. Uh, you're swinging for five on turn two. And the thing is, that's not that's not an instant. Um, that's an enchantment, so that's going to stay on that creature, and that's gonna you're going to continue to pound through next turn for another additional four damage. They're already down to eleven on turn two, and that's that's just with two cards that are that don't disappear. It's not an instant. It's not a sorcery. It stays on the creature. This card I think is going to be one of the cards that makes red deck wins tier two or maybe even tier one. Um, it's just crazy good, just so good. Uh, here's Hazard. I think that this card could see play in a mono red deck as a one or two of because usually in a mono red deck you're running out of cards. Um, by turn four, you probably have two cards in your hand, and this could be one of them. You could slap this down and then swing because uh, you then you therefore you only have one left in your hand, and that's what I think I like about um, this card is it it pushes you to play fast, and that's what you want to do in a red deck. And sometimes you can't because of the board state. But this card will allow you to do that, and I think that's really good. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I like that you can discard land cards for three mana and do additional damage. I think this card is amazing. And I, I really hope it's as good as I think it is. This is basically a cheaper Goblin Heel Cutter. You can see down here, Goblin Heel Cutter, Dash. He basically is Goblin Heel Cutter without the Dash mechanic. Dash can sometimes be good because it pops it back to your hand, and it allows your opponent not to kill it with Sorcery Speed Removal. But the fact that you can slap this down on turn three, swing for three, and then later on you can exert it maybe on turn four and swing in for the win with a hazard, that's that's insane to me. You know, stop their their one creature from blocking. That's a big deal. I like that a lot. It does that a shock though, which isn't good. Um, Flame Blade Adept. I think this card could see some play um, with cards like Collected Collective Defiance. Um, right here, you could discard your entire hand and draw that many cards. Um, so let's say you discard three cards. Uh, this card becomes a 4-5 with Menace. And then you can escalate it to deal four damage to target creature. And if you have a Soul Scar Mage, that's actually four negative one, negative one counters. Um, I think I think this card, Collective Defiance, could see some play with uh, Flame Blade Adept. Um, yeah, like a four of Collective Defiance. And... You can use that as a pump spell, but then you can escalate it later to, you know, blow something of theirs up, recycle your hand out, and get even and give him a bunch of buffs. Um, that's really good, I think. And I, I think there's a couple other cards. Um, you could even sprinkle in some madness cards with this. Um, instead of escalating, you could discard your hand, maybe get some madness cards out with that, and then also give Flame Blade Adept a massive bonus. So that's just a, an idea I had. I don't know if this card is that good. It, again, needs to be tested and see how consistent that is. Um, uh, I like that it has evasion. That's really cool because you, you can throw that uh, that enchantment on this card, that plus three, plus three. I think it's like something fervor, uh, so, uh, the red enchantment I just talked about. So this would become a four, five on turn two with menace. Um, that could be really good. That could be really powerful and... Um, you know, your if your opponent plays a creature on turn, so you swing in on turn two. If you go first, they're down to sixteen. This guy gets a negative one, negative counter, negative one, negative one counter. Um, and he goes down to a three four. And if they play a creature on turn, you swing again. They're down to thirteen. Then they play a creature on turn two. Oh, I'm sorry, they play a creature on turn two. You swing, and let's say they don't play a creature on turn three. You can swing again and not get blocked because he has menace. And let's say they do play another creature and they double block, you could throw down an instant to give them trample and an additional bonus and kill both their creatures and get damage through. So this card is, can't, could, I could see this being playable. Um, 
with all the one drops in standard, I think this card and Soul Scar Mage would be the four of one drop slots you'd want in the deck, and that would be it. So eight one drops in the deck. That means you get a one drop pretty much every turn. Um, I think the only other one drop I would see being playable as of right now would be Village Messenger, the one one with haste that turns into a two two with menace if your opponent doesn't play anything. Um, I think that card's really good, and the fact that it becomes a two two with menace, like I've literally I've played that in a couple decks, a couple red decks I've played, and people will they can't handle that two two menace. I've literally won games because they could block everything except for the two two with menace, and they lost. So. I think Menace is an underrated ability, and um, in a standard format where you're playing only one creature a turn, um, this card is pretty good. Again, Chandra could be played in this deck. She's great. You can play her and then plus one her and then play her something else. You could play her, do four damage, and effectively throw down four negative one, negative one counters on something with Soul Scar Mage. Um, and then her plus one can give you more gas. Um, or, you know, you can use it to finish off your opponent. I think Chandra is an awesome mono-red deck card. A lot of people don't think so. But she, she just destroys control decks. If they if you're playing a control deck that's wiping your board, you play Chandra, and if you resolve that, and they don't have anything on board, you're going to win the game. Uh, you you play Chandra on turn four, you plus her, <clears throat> do two damage to them. They play something, you can blow it up with their negative three and play something else. It's just so good. Such, such a great card. I would invest in Chandra. Invigorated Rampage is, <clears throat> in my opinion, a really good card. Uh, the fact that <clears throat> you could give two creatures plus two, plus O oh, plus two and trample instant speed is a lot better than you know Titan Strength. Titan Strength that's been in standard. It's better than um, that. Uh, it's from Shadows Over Innistrad. It's a one mana plus two plus one. I think it's like a peasant on the card. It gets plus two plus one and trample. This card is good because it gives two creatures trample, and I think that can be super important especially like on turn five when you need that just that three or four points of damage to get through and you just you blow them out of the water with this card shock really good card plays well with soul scar mage it's a one mana two it's uh it's as close as we can get can get to lightning bolt really good card uh savage alliance this could be played with soul scar mage i'm just looking these some of these cards are in here just because they're ideas but the fact that it does one damage to each creature target opponent controls that becomes a negative one, negative one counter with Soul Scar Mage, uh, which is really interesting. Um, I don't think this card is good enough, but it's it's cool that Soul Scar Mage is making these burn spells like just ridiculously powerful. Uh, Ravenous Bloodseeker. So this is a discard mechanic. Um, if they continue to print more red cards, uh, the full set isn't spoiled yet. But if they release a couple more cards that get buffs from discarding, um, this card would be really good because you'd not only be giving Soul, uh, Flame Blade Adept, uh, a plus one, plus oh, but you'd also be giving this a bonus, and it can also trigger Madness if you build a Madness deck. Oath of Chandra, really good card that pairs with Chandra Torture Defiance. It also turns into a negative three, negative three counters if you have Soul Scar Mage. Um, just such a good card. And it also has uh, Blade Game by ability with that two damage when you drop a Planeswalker. So if you have this out and you play Chandra, you can deal four damage with her plus one in this trigger on the end step. This is really good with Madness cards uh, if you want to build a Madness mono red deck. I think if you're going to go Madness, you're going to want to go all in. Um, the exception being Collected Defiance. I think Collected Defiance is such a good card on its own that it just has so many options in a mono red deck, which is what you need. If you're getting flooded, you want this. You want this card if you're getting flooded as an option. It also hits so many creatures, and I think I would play this over Cut and Ribbons. Uh, in, in the main or even in the side. And then the fact that you can discard all your cards in your hand and cycle out is really, really interesting to me. Um, it also does four damage, which hits Avacyn, hits so many other creatures, and it can do three damage. So for five mana, you could hit all these abilities, which isn't too crazy in a mono red deck. Falcon Wrath Gorger. <clears throat> so beyond the eight one drops, this is the only... I actually lied. Village Messenger isn't that great. I think this card is better than Village Messenger. And um, I think this is this card is interesting because if you have him out on the field and you discard one, that one has madness. Um, he's the only good one drop red vampire, and 
the fact that if you have one of the it's a it's a really janky mechanic if you have one on the field and you end up discarding your hand or discarding a card that one has madness which is kind of jank but i mean it's a two one for one so you can't really argue with that it has no downside a two one for one that has no downside you can't really argue um there could be some sort of madnessy deck you could play with this again I would see him being played in a full-on Madness deck that's pushing Madness and pushing discard bo- like effects as much as possible. Again, Fiery Temper. This card, the thing is, Fiery Temper, is it just looks... It's so promising that you think you can get a Lightning Bolt out of this, but I, I just don't think it's playable outside of a full-on Mono Red Madness deck. I don't think it's, it's even viable at all. And then Gold Knight Castigator. This card just... I always feel like I'm coming back to this card, um, but in a mono red deck that's focused on hasty creatures, um, a couple one drops, and then your your two, three, and four drops are all hasty. Um, this card is seems interesting to me. And Glory Bringer is a oh man. I should look that up. Glory Bringer is a spoiled card from here we go. Uh, from a Cat, it's a flying haste 4-4 four, for four, 5, and if you exert it, it deals 4 damage to target non-dragon creature and opponent controls. Um, I didn't realize it said non-dragon. Interesting. Uh, that makes it a little bit not as good. But still, uh, there's not going to be any dragons in standard that I that I see, except for that black one. Um, that actually might even be a demon. So, um, But this card, again, is a 5-mana 4-4 four, for four, haste, but the thing is, um, uh, where'd it go? Here we go. This card is doing the same damage for one less mana. Uh, it doesn't have that awesome effect. It has a downside effect. Um, but still, it's a uh, flying, has evasion, has haste, and it's four mana. You can't really beat that, and that's pretty good. I don't see this, I don't know, I don't think I, I m- might see this being played in a sideboard against control, because control doesn't play creatures, and if you land one of these, you could really screw your opponent up. Um, like a like a black like Grixis control. Um, a lot of their burn spells wouldn't even hit, wouldn't even kill this creature. So they would have to waste a bur- uh, removal spell on this card. So I think that's that's where this card could be played. Uh, Carry Zeb's expertise. This is really good against other aggro decks. I think this is a sideboard card. You know when they're playing that three drop and that three drop is really pissing you off. You drop this, swing in with your one drop and your two drop and and their creature, and you can throw it on another. Maybe another burn spell, maybe an invigorated rampage, and get that extra four damage in. You can get them down to five life by turn three. Um, that seems that seems bonkers to me. So uh, interesting. So let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments. I'm really excited. I'm gonna do a lot of testing on X Mage and see what it comes out. But let me know what you guys think of the new uh, meta for standard that's coming soon.